Serving up a recipe for success and not just in the kitchen. This restaurant is located in Birmingham's Colmore Business District. It's one of the big growth areas of the city and here bookings are growing too. I think we reflect what's happening within the professional sector in the, in the city. Uh, we're used very much for, uh, for, for lunchtime trade, we are used for private functions for firms and I think we're right, if you like, almost at the coalface of what's happening. Today's report talks about a ring of confidence within the city centre. Inside it, businesses are performing well. Well, there is growth and job creation here in the city centre. According to this report, Birmingham as a whole is failing to punch its weight when compared to other cities. And here's some of the evidence just yards from the city centre, a car park that by now should have been turned into an office block and not far away, a derelict building. I think the report is bang on. Uh, over many years, Birmingham and other second-tier cities like Manchester haven't really pulled their weight on a whole range of things. Employment, uh, business startups, qualifications, average wages. And worse still, Birmingham appears to be lagging behind when it comes to new jobs. According to the report, London has created 14 times more jobs than Birmingham. But city leaders maintain that there are reasons why that's happened. London is bigger than Birmingham, but London hasn't gone into recession. and That's really the, uh, uh, the reason for all of this. Uh, we've been saying for a long while that uh, the South East, London, uh, is an overheated economy uh, and uh, we need to rebalance the UK economy. And one way of doing that, according to the report, would mean more powers being devolved to Birmingham and away from London. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today.